So, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, this is one of the best uh, drafted players of the 1970s. He eventually ended up uh, in with some strong Flyers teams, but probably one of the mo most unique names in NHL history. But when he played, boys, oh boys, oh boys, he uh, he gave every effort and every uh, shift. And injuries uh, cut his career too soon, but uh, you know he has the respect of media and fans uh, all across the world. So today we're going to be talking about the legend of Oris Kinderchuk. Now, Oris uh, Michael Kinderchuk, born September 14, 1950, played 10 seasons in the NHL for the Flyers, Penguins, and Capitals before injuries cut his career much too uh, soon. Now, one of the few Ukrainian Canadians to uh, make the NHL, he was born in Nanton, Alberta. Now, his parents were Ukrainian uh, immigrants, and his first language was not in English. Obviously, it was Ukrainian. Because Canada uh, took a lot in a lot of Ukrainian refugees uh, during the uh, what he called the, the Russian occupation of the country uh, post uh, World War II. Now he first came to major prominence with that beautiful team, the Saskatoon Blades of the WCJHL. Now his first season with Saskatoon, he had 24 goals, 58 games, 69 another great season, uh, 21 goals in 41 games, 70 was a kind of an injury-filled season. Only seven points in uh, four regular season games, six points in the playoffs. But his last season, I uh, still don't know why he wasn't drafted, ladies and gentlemen. 149 points in 61, uh, 61 games, including 49 goals. Now, uh, because he was not uh, drafted, he decided to go the independent hockey route by signing with the San Diego Gulls of the uh, WHL. And he drew enough points, 54 and 61 games in 72 to be signed with the Flyers. Now, he sent to the Flyers uh, affiliate in Richmond, and he had 86 points with the Robins in 73. But by the 73 season, he got his first cup of coffee with the Flyers two games. In his rookie year, his first, uh, uh, he became a money player in the playoffs. He won the cup that year. He only scored 11 goals in a regular season, but he's five good big goals in the playoffs. Every big goal he scored meant a lot. And that allowed him to get past Boston in six games again in the final. 75, again, uh, a very consistent season. Injury riddled only 10 goals in 60 games. Now, 76 was his career year. He had 75 points in 76 games, including 26 goals. And, uh, you know, very consistent. 15, 20 to 20 goals a season, 50 to 70 points. And, again, a very good playoff performer. 78 was his best playoff year, in my opinion where he got 10 points in 12 games when the Flyers were still consistently consistently a top four or top, top five team in the NHL. Now, uh, the man he called Little O uh, centered the, uh, the uh, Schultz and Selesky line where the fight would break out and Kinderchuk was sort of on the sidelines. Kinderchuk would rarely take a, like a bad penalty. His, his worst season in penalty minutes was in 78 when Schultz was already gone. But uh, to see the Schultz, Selesky, and Kinderchuk line, especially against the Russians in that January game in 76, boys, it, uh, it made me happy to see the Russians get a shit-kicking that they all deserve. In the words of Bob Cole, you know, we took it and the Flyers gave it to him, and then they quit. Now, for some reason, uh, when uh, the Flyers were doing their rebuilding process in the early 80s, they felt Kinderchuk uh, couldn't... Uh, couldn't do it anymore. He was traded uh, to the Penguins, where actually became the Penguins captain for uh, part of uh, uh, three seasons. He eventually tried to come back with the Capitals in 1982, but uh, he had to retire after four games uh, due uh, to injuries. Now, Kinderchuk, who eventually became a U.S. citizen after living a number of years in the States, eventually went into a successful insurance and packaging industry job in the Philadelphia area. Now, uh, final NHL totals, 118 uh, goals, 261 assists for 379 points, 508 games, and again, a money player in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. 76 games, 20 goals, 20 assists, 40 points. Uh, Kinderchuk, every goal he scored was important, but playing with that schultz Zaleski line, and I feel bad, don't go to the tapes to see the playoff games against Toronto that the Flyers played. It would scare you how much they would intimidate. They couldn't intimidate Boston or Montreal or even the Rangers. 
well, maybe in 74 in the semifinals. But against Toronto, it was cruel, ladies and gentlemen. It was cruel. Because, not to say the Flyers were a bully team, but, um, oh yeah, just about the captaincy. He uh, he took over for John Pronovo and was succeeded by Randy Carlisle. So to be the captain of the Penguins, it was always a prestigious job in hockey. Because technically, the Penguins at the time were a top 10 NHL team and had a respect of many P and many people in the NHL and fans. So it was good to see his career extended in Pittsburgh. But like I said, some of these players are, are ten year wonders, if that makes any sense. And Kinderchuck, you know, the ten seasons uh, in the pros, I think were enough to recognize that you couldn't have won the cup uh, in seventy four and seventy five without players like Kinderchuck. Thanks for listening. Bye.